Hello, everybody. How everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing good today. Me, myself, and I, y'all, I am feeling so good. You know, I had a wonderful week. You know, I'm having a wonderful, blessed day. I just pray that everybody else is doing well, and I just pray that God cover all who's not doing well and give them a speed of recovery. And I got to continue to thank my A1s from day one who continue to support me and all my new subscribers. I thank you guys so very much. I truly do. But guys, ladies and gentlemen, Kings, Queens, Eagles, everything positive out there. I tell you guys, I just thank y'all so much for all the birthday shout outs because I really, really brought my 50th birthday in with love and positivity. I truly did. You know, it's nothing that I regret about my birthday ever since Wednesday when I tell you. Wednesday, my family showed up and showed out. I just love them so much. I'm so glad I had my intimate 50th birthday with my family the first day. And then Thursday, you know, going out with my family, you know, I had just a blast with them. Friday, we were supposed to go out, but I said, you know, let me just listen to my body and take a chill pill. And I did that, you know, took care of some things with my mom, ran some errands with her. And then Saturday, you know, that was the, pretty much the last day of my birthday celebration. But every day is a celebration, but to celebrate my 50th yesterday was the last, not yesterday, I'm sorry, Saturday was the last day of my birthday celebration. And guys, here's the 50th old brown tan Kathy, here I am. So, you know, I'm so happy and blessed and thankful to say that I am now 50 years old. I am so blessed and so thankful that God kept me and he kept me healthy. You know, I'm just blessed, you know, so every age is a blessing, but the age of 50 is one of those years that I could not wait to become. And the fact that I made it to 50 and made it healthy and doing me, I am so blessed and so thankful to the Lord above. Thank you, Lord. So with that being said, everybody, what's been going on on these YouTube streets? Because guess what? I've been watching y'all. I've been watching. I've been seeing some improvement, y'all. I've been seeing some improvement. Whether somebody else says it's not improvement, guys, i seen some improvement, and that's what I'm all here for. I'm all here to talk about the improvement. You know what I'm saying? And the first person who I got to talk about is Latrice, as always. You know, who do not love her new home? I love it, y'all. I love it. When I get a big home like that, I, I'm i scared, y'all. I like my place to be small and intimate and just enough for me. I don't like big light bills. I do not like big light bills. I don't want to have to burn a whole bunch of AC. I heat it um, cool. I heat up my house. So I, I prefer a small one, even if I had the um, chunky money. I prefer something a little normal size because her house is big but god you know he blessing her you know so she walking into her blessing and that's a good thing you know i don't want to keep talking about the people who saying negative things about her i'm gonna speak on that but i'm just i'm just just want to just speak on her blessing what i see as a blessing you know like i say people are totally different People have fine things to talk about, but to me, I like the house. If that's what she want, bam, God bless her with it. So with that one being said, way to go, trees. What I want to talk about now is D-Rain. Now, I see a lot of people giving D-Rain heat. Why are they giving her heat? I don't understand it. If somebody choosing, and I don't care for whatever reason it is, I don't care whatever reason, if somebody choose to change, I don't care if it's a temporary change, because that means God is working on them. If Deraine apologize and want to see the good in trees, why is that a bad thing? I, you know, 
I've seen a lot of people comment negatively on that. But pride come before fall. If that girl came on here and showed some love for somebody who she was beefing with, whether Latrice forgive her or not, that's not Doreen's fault. Doreen did what she did. She seen a wrong in her era. She apologized. I don't see I don't see the big issue with her apologizing. What's that's a good thing if she's showing love for somebody she had beef with. I'm just saying, if somebody say whatever she re, re, whatever reason she's doing it for her, okay, you might be right. But at the end of the day, she made a public how how did how, how they say it? If you publicly shame somebody or go off on somebody, you need to public publicly apologize to that person. And she did that. You know, she came and she probably said what she said about the trees on here. And then she came and apologized on here. So I don't understand people. What y'all don't want her to apologize? What is it? See, that's why I said I don't understand what some people, what people want out of people. You know, what they look for out of people. I want to see the good in people. Whatever her reason, oh, she doing this just because of that. She doing that because he, um, because uh, um, your boy is something. Oh, she doing, listen, at the end of the day, guess what? She did it. She did something some people don't even do. She did something that's so hard for people to say, I'm sorry, I apologize. She did that. So what's the problem? Why such a hard time? What I, I just don't get people. I don't get people. Like I say, when, when it comes to me, I prefer a person to dislike me or like me. Don't be in between. Don't be wishy-washy. Do not be phony. Either you like me or you don't. I'm good with that because at the end of the day, I'm still going to be who I am. I'm still going to be Kathy, a.k.a. Brown Tan. It don't matter. But what I'm going to continue to do is show love, show positivity. I don't want to be in deranged shoes where I don't say something about somebody and they have to come and apologize. I just want to be positive, love on people, and I don't have to do the apology. That's, that's, what, that's what I don't want to have to do. But the fact that she did do that... I see no wrong in that. I see I see somebody who's saw they wrong and changed it. You know, I seen that with a lot of these YouTubers. They say something about somebody, and then after a while, I don't know if God, um, the Holy Spirit, came to them and let them see they wrong and apologize. That's okay, guys. Y'all got to realize y'all cannot talk about somebody who choose to change their bad ways for the good. So I seen a lot of people, believe it or not, I seen a lot of people who talked about Latrice end up coming back apologizing. And if they did not apologize like Durain did publicly on their channels, they said something as to where well, I know that I um, said things about the trees, but, you know, I'm trying to go, go on that positive route now. I heard the female, several females say that. I heard a man say that. They didn't, he, or the man didn't say that he apologized, but it's pretty much like I'm trying to do, go be positive now and all that kind of stuff. And that's a good thing, guys. What y'all want drama to keep going? Y'all want this drama to keep going and no, I mean, I see a lot of positive women. Thank God for the positive women that's on here who speak on this. And I don't care. At this point, guys, since I, I, things had changed for me, since I'm turning 50, since I turned, not turning, since I turned 50, I'm at a point right now. Hold on. Yeah, so since I turned 50, I'm at a point in my life right now, it don't matter. I know right now that I'm going to continue doing YouTube. I don't know if I want to do jump on the Facebook and all that stuff right now. I just want to be focused on one thing right now. And that is YouTube. 
you know, I got to get used to one thing because I am a beginner on this thing. And the way my path going with the positivity is so easy to be positive instead of negative. It's so easy to give a positive content instead of negativity. So by who I am, I, I can do what I can. I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I can do this and still get my content because it's just a lot of stuff that I still don't like. It's a lot of stuff that I still do not like when it comes to a certain person on here. I, I, I love her as a person because we all have God children. So I love her as a person, but I dislike what her goal is. You know, if a person don't have a goal to try to aim towards positivity, I have a problem with that. I truly do have a problem with that because why are you trying to keep up mess? You know, why, what, what, what is it in you that it has to be messy? I don't understand that. Like I say, my, my channel growing, but growing a little slower because I'm not the messy type. And I'm telling you all that all some people have to do is join a force that's with negativity. But you know, at the end of the day, I know God is looking at me, listening to me. And if I am going to say something, it's not going to be to down someone, to crack on someone, to belittle someone, to make fun of someone, to laugh at someone. It's not, it's not going to be that. If I talk to somebody and say a change need you it, it, think about changing this thing for the better, that's what my content is going to be about. It's not going to be about picking on anyone because, like I said, at the end of the day, everybody is different. Everybody going to look different. Everybody is shaped different. You know, it, and it is what it is. Everybody have some type of flaw. I don't care if it's a flaw on the outside, but if you have a flaw that's on the inside, if you never seen the show Ghosts, and that's self-explanatory when you see it, that's pretty much how it is in real life. When you take your last breath, you going, it's no in between. You either going up there or you either going down there. So like I said, my conscience is clear on my content. My conscience is absolutely clean. I sleep very well. After I give my content, I sleep very well. And if somebody sleep very well on a belittling content or nitpicking content or going in comment or content and you good with that then you probably have to ask yourself where are you when it comes to your relationship with the lord what's your what what is it because like i say everybody everybody including me we all have something to work on but the things we need to work on is it hurting somebody that's the question. The thing that you're working on and need to work on, is that thing hurting somebody? So like I said, people never feel as though you're perfect. Okay? Don't 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 think that. If somebody think that, then you're deceiving yourself. If you think you perfect, but when I see somebody who deliberately, deliberately doing things, that's when it's a problem. I know people do stuff by accident. Somebody probably was riding, said something, and uh, it just happened. But when somebody is deliberately coming on here, knowing what their motivation is, Notice what they're doing. Something ain't wrong. It ain't right with that. I'm going to read something, y'all. I'm going to read something. Okay, I'm going to read something. This I'm going to read the, a, a part of je what jealousy means, okay? Jealousy is feeling or showing envy of someone, of their achievements and advantages. That's what jealousy is. When somebody is showing envy of someone or their of their achievement or advantage. Envious and envy is a feeling of discontent or resentful, yeah, resentful 
longing aroused by someone else possession qualities or luck. Okay, let me read that again. Envy is a feeling of discontent or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possession, qualities, or luck. Hatred is intense dislike or ill will. And um, I, 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 like I say, I don't know what this certain person motivation, what motivates someone to get on social media and only pick on negativity of someone. Out of all the things that someone else is doing, you only find the wrong. Like if somebody looked at my life or my videos, all my videos that I did, and they only can find the bad in it. Y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. People don't see just nothing wrong with that. That people only find the bad things. And like I said, when it comes to this person, y'all know who I'm talking about? I said, this person probably be speaking facts about you know who. She probably be speaking facts. But the delivery, and people need to understand, and I'm going to keep speaking on it until somebody get it. Because a lot of people don't get it, believe it or not. In my comments, I can tell that they don't get it. I don't understand how they don't get something that's so simple. Maybe if that person did them like that, I did their loved ones, how they doing trees, maybe they'll feel and see what I'm talking about. But if it's not getting done to them and they kind of happy that this person is getting drugged verbally about uh, from a certain uh, person, from who they click with, some people love that. But it's like, as me as a person, it's like, come on, this need to stop. I would, I don't even want nobody to do drag your girl like that. I ain't saying she deserving to be drugged and talked about like that. And not drug don't mean fighting. Drug mean to be with words, drug, the drag, or whatever. I don't want nobody to drag her. And some people say, well, she need to get, because all she do is talk about your girl. Okay, at the end of the day, verbally, speak your mind and without being so harsh. Everybody got, uh, somebody going to be talking about, somebody in my comments talked about me. But I don't let it worry me because at the end of the day, I know what my content is all about. I know what my motive is about. Okay? It's about I want somebody to see the video, see what change they can make. When some people comment to me, I'm not going to keep listening to that. And I, I, as you see, I haven't stopped yet. When people say, oh, she clout chasing. Okay, guys, if that's what if that's what y'all call it, guess what? You don't have to say it no more. I'm clout chasing. Is that you, that, that's what y'all wanted to hear? Because I'm clout chasing, guess what? Everybody on social media who is asking for likes, wanting more subscribers, asking for the video to be shared, and asking for the video to be liked. Hey, they asking for something. That's clout. They want it. That's chasing. You asking somebody for something. So guess what? You must be talking to everybody. You must be talking to everybody. So whoever calling me clout chasing, guess what? Everybody clout chasing. Am I wrong? Everybody who's on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, wherever you can get that other string of income, do you want to get paid for it? Do you want YouTube to pay you for it? Social media, whatever the case may be. So yeah, a lot of people is wanting another come up. You know what I'm saying? That's everybody. So when I see that now, it's like when I see it, this, anytime y'all get ready to say clout chasing, oh, you using these people name for clout, guess what? This is what I'm doing to y'all. Every time y'all say that, look at my hand, look at my face. 
Every time y'all do this, this is what y'all do. Every time I see that, I'm like this. I don't even know if I'm going to comment on that again. I don't know if I'm going to give y'all my my time to even reply to y'all. I'm just going to yeah, let y'all know this in advance. Can I let y'all know this in advance? For anybody, anybody, I don't care who it is. I don't care who you are. And I'm telling you, what I say, if I was to be in front of that person, I would say that to them if it was face-to-face. If anybody came to me face to face and be like, you clout chasing on that page, I'ma tell them, I'ma put them in their place. Not not to fight. If they don't put their hand up, it won't be no fight. But um, if they come to me and say all this stuff they saying, I'ma say what I have to say as a lady. You know what I'm saying? I'ma tell them, I'ma put them in their place in a nice way, you know. So with that being said, I would say the same thing that I'm saying here, here, to screen, of the screen, I say it to somebody face to face. It's no shame in my game. It's not one bit of shame in my game. You know, if somebody came to me face to face, see me in the street, like, you, 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 cat, aka brown tan, you be cloud chasing, I'm gonna say what I have to say politely. But what I'm not gonna do is address it on here anymore. So just let y'all know in advance, don't waste your time. And if you waste your time putting clout chasing in there, I ain't gonna respond to it. I probably just go ahead and delete it and just keep it. I don't, I'm telling you, whoever has something to say negative, I don't know if I wanna entertain you guys no more. That's too, that take up too much time. I think I'm just gonna, gonna stick with my positive subscribers my positive viewers because entertaining you guys when I know I'm doing something positive is draining that would drain me so turning 50 my new thing is I'm if I read the comments I'm not going to give you guys satisfaction and know that I read y'all comments so I'm just going to speak on the positivity and then if I choose to talk about it, the negativity, because negative negativity need to change, then I might speak on it. But to waste my time typing it up when I'm, I'm not live and I'm doing this as an upload video, I'm not going to waste my time entertaining these negative comments. I'm not going to do that. So, hold on, guys. Hold on. And you know what I want, ladies and gentlemen? I don't see too many gentlemen, um, gentlemen on who, who's speaking positive when it comes to the situation that we see that's going on. But I do see a lot of positive women. Ladies, keep doing what you're doing. Don't stop doing what you're doing when it comes to positivity because a lot of people want the positivity channel to kind of die down that's what i look see i think a lot of people want the positive channel to die down and allow the negativity the ill will channels the nitpicking channels i think i see a lot of comments rooting that on then people rooting us the positive channel on some people uh, uh, so there are a lot of people who's rooting us on but it's more of them rooting on the negativity. So when it comes to the positive channel, you guys keep doing what you're doing. Don't let what nobody say in your comments stop you. Don't let them stop you. Because if they stop us from doing the positive channels, then those negative channels are going to keep doing it and getting worse and worse and worse and worse. I know a lot of people say, just stop talking about it. No, that's the problem. That's the problem. Everybody want people to do that's doing good to stop doing what they doing. You talking positive. Stop doing that. Don't say nothing to them. Stop doing that. Just like in schools, they want God out of it. Everything good, they want it out. They take and want it out. And they want the wrong to be right. Do not stop what you're doing. All y'all positive channel, keep uploading 
your videos. Keep doing positive lives. Keep doing it. Do not stop. I remember in the beginning, they wanted me to stop. They wanted me to stop my comments. They were saying things that wasn't nice. And I was like, if people were telling me, the positive people were like, don't stop doing what you're doing, keep doing it. They are the ones who pushed me to co continue doing positive channels. Because I, at the time, it came, I was like, oh God, I don't got time for this. I really was like, do I really want to keep doing this? And then they the one who was like, keep doing what you're doing. And when I thought about it, I was like, Kathy, you ain't doing nothing wrong. Keep doing your positive channels. And so everybody, keep doing your positive channels. And I'm going to tell everybody like this, just in case you guys do not know, I'm for love. I don't hate no one. All these channels who talking ill will about something, somebody, I don't hate no one. Don't ask me to pick a side. I'm going for what's right. And the reason I like trees is because trees live in her own life. You do not hear trees in the beginning picking on nobody. You see trees living her life. And just like I'm seeing people saying she's scamming people. I'm, I'm, that's that's one thing I seen during my birthday celebration. I read that she. Uh, I'm hearing that people saying they being scammed. This is what I'm gonna say about it. I'm not. If that's what that person think, or this what people think that the trees is scamming people. I can't tell people how to think. I can't tell nobody how to think because it's not my money. That their, their feelings is not my feelings. But what I will say. It's Latrice is a one woman's person. She want to do it all herself. She have a trust issue as she admitted. She have a trust issue. And so she's a one woman person. And when it's a one woman person who choose and want to live their life, whether it's going out to eat, whether it's going out to have fun. And if people on social media see that is how Trees live her life and choose to pay for a class, a $99 class. If a person choose to see Latrice's lifestyle, that she's a busybody, she will go out and have fun. She will go out to eat. And when she is a one-woman person, and have to do one-on-ones? How many people do you think is jumping on that $99, $100 promotion? How many people do, how many people do y'all think jumped on that? Think about it. Think about how many people jump on that. And if somebody jumped on that, guess what? I hate to say it. It don't take no rocket science to figure this out. It's going to be a minute. It's going to be a minute until your turn. And it's just what it is. It's just what it is. You just got to remember, Latrice is a one-woman person. Not say if she worked at um, a place where they just got a whole bunch of telemarketers. You know what I'm saying? And she gave all the telemarketers a script. This is what you tell that person. Then, it'll go up faster. It'll go much faster. Imagine if it had a, a line that you could call on. And it, and it, it uh, trees taught everybody how to do what she do to promote their channel and upload their channel on Latrice's page, and she had help. I don't know if eventually she going to trust people enough to do that. I don't know. But if it was even ten people who she trained, but Trees already said she don't trust people. Because she probably think those 10 people who she trained going to go off into their own thing and start training people without her. 
Because that's how, that's how I believe. That's how I believe how a person who don't trust somebody would think. So that's why I think, th this is my opinion. This is my opinion, guys. Don't come with your boxing gloves. Please don't come with your boxing gloves. This is my opinion. Okay, like Latrice says, she don't trust people. So, I'm just going to say, if it was me. If it was me, knowing that I'm a one-woman person, knowing I'm hearing a great deal, oh, wow, 99 $100, $100, she's going to get me out there, she's going to promote, me, promote my channel on her page. I don't care if it's 500 Some people going to come to your page when you got Latrice on there, when she promotes your page. Now, imagine only one person promoting all these people who's on her email and all that kind of stuff. It ain't going to get done fast like y'all want it. But y'all calling it scam because y'all want it now. I want it and I want it now. It's my money and I want it now. It ain't going to happen, sis, bruh. I get it. I understand what you're coming from. I understand. Trust and believe. I understand. But I got the understanding of seeing Tree's life. Know she live a busy life. And I know I will have to wait. I don't know. It might be five months. Who knows? Who knows? But I would get if I was to get into that and, and, and do uh, put that hundred dollars, I would go with a mindset knowing that it might be a wait longer than I want. Yeah, you have to go in there with a different mindset, you know. So I just hope. Well, I can't speak for nobody. Let me just say it like this. I can't say a scam. I can't I could I couldn't say that. I just see somebody, Latrice has been a busy woman. Truth be told, she is. Everybody and they everybody can see it. She have her whole life, her whole life on social media. You see the life she um, live. If it's your choice, everybody have a choice. Everybody have a choice. Whether to give their money to Latrice to get promoted or not to give. If you that type who chose to give your money to Latrice, I'll, if I was Latrice, I would say it might be this amount of time. Don't expect it to be tomorrow, next week, next month. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I would have told everybody that if I was that, I would have told them it might take this long, but give me time because these people, unless you put a deadline, a deadline on, say for instance, the end of October. It's the deadline that I'm taking anymore. Or uh, if she put today, it's the last day that I am taking any money from promotions. Put that date on there. And if somebody did something after that day, well, I told y'all, it's in writing that this is when I said I'm not taking no more money until I catch up with the people I need to catch up on. I'm only one woman. Just trying to go one on one, or have her um, how she um, probably have multiple people. But for the one on one people, it's going to take time. That's when anything. If you go to a grocery store, it's only one cashier in the line that you're in. It's a lot of cashiers because Publix trust other people being a cashier. Trees. Do not trust people. So therefore, it's only trees. But if trees trust people, it'll be people that's allowed to go in that line and that line and that line. And y'all promotion can go a little bit faster. So 
like I say, I can't say you're getting scammed. I'm just seeing what I think it could be. I think she got a load. I think she have a load. And being one person, I think she's going to get to you when she can. But like I said, I don't know who she had experience with. I seen one lady, who was like behind the dark scene. So I couldn't hear her face, but I definitely heard what she got to say. And she was highly upset with trees. Very upset. Very, very upset. With somebody like that, I just say, hey, give your money. Give her money. I don't want to help her. You know, so that's what that's what she wants. To stop the madness and not to be called a scam, she'll be the one who I give a refund to in a heartbeat. You know, no ill will towards you, no ill toward towards me, but here I'm sending you back your money. That's what I would have did. But to each his own, everybody different. Everybody different. I'm the type who don't like no problems. I'm the type who don't want no problems. So therefore, that lady definitely would have got her money back. And if I was Latrice, I would make a statement on the page. On her page, just let everybody know I'm doing this on my own. I'm doing it on my own. Email me, you know, if you have any questions. But I cannot get to you. It's first come, first serve. Down the email, first come, first serve. Not that person. Okay, I got her taken care of. Boop. Got her taken care of. Boop. Let me see how many more I got. Okay, I got 35 more people. Letting them people keep them updated. Keep them updated. I got 35 more people. Those 35 people might take two months. That 35 uh, people might take two months. Let Just let people know in advance what's going on. Let them know. Because when a person don't know what's going on, they're going to get mad. But when you give people a heads up, this is what's going on. Okay, I got about 30 more people in front of you. Your turn is coming. Your turn is coming. Just give them some heads up. Stop the process. You might have to stop the process because these people who came on late, they might want to be first. That's when anything, just like if you, just anywhere, you got a picture everywhere you go, guys. If you are at, if you are at a uh, amusement park, you ain't good. If, if that line say you got to wait, you're going to have to wait. Just point blank, period. Hold on, guys. Yeah, so it's everywhere you go. It's everywhere you go. I don't care if it's a amusement park. I don't care if you got to go to DMV. And um, even when the people took their COVID taste test, when they got that COVID test, y'all see how long that line was? You got to wait. People don't understand the process of waiting. Y'all have to understand the process of waiting. I don't know, and I don't think Latrice doing that intentionally. I think she really want to help. She did not have to do this. She do not have to do this. I, I didn't, I'm not paying, I didn't pay for the class because I know the process is going to be a long process because I know Latrice is a busy woman. Would I want her to pro promote my uh, page? Of course. Of course. Everybody know what time it is with the trees. Everybody know. Everybody knows she the big goat. Everybody know it. They probably don't want to admit it and want to say it, but everybody knows she the goat of YouTube, the greatest of all time. To me, you know what I'm saying? Because she doing it on her own. You know, and I know a lot of people doing their own. So whoever y'all say the goat is, let's go for it. Just like somebody, like a lot of people think LeBron James is the goat of um, best ball, guess what? I do too. But everybody probably had their favorites. And they, like I say, when people um, play any kind of sports, everybody got their favorites. Everybody got their GOAT, the greatest of all time when it comes to this and that. Serena Williams is a GOAT of tennis to me. That's my opinion. And somebody else think that oh, the other lady, I can't pronounce her name, they probably think her. She's the um, GOAT. So when I say Latrice is the go of YouTube people, that's my opinion. Don't come with your boxing gloves every time somebody say something that's, that's, that you're against. You know what I'm saying? That's what we grown folks need to realize, that it's okay to disagree. That's what we need to realize, folks. It's okay to disagree. You don't have to be already to put your boxing glove up every time somebody say something about a person you like or dislike. You know, you don't always have to throw up your boxing glove. Oh, that's what she think? Okay, that's her opinion. My opinion is this person. 
You got to look at life that way. You can stay so much young and youthful if you don't always have a unit on your face. If you ain't always mad and have them fine lines going in your face. When y'all, some people have that little permanent lines going um, sideways or vertical. They have a permanent uh, frown because they always like this. Got that that face and that face keep them lines. You know, nobody, I'm not, no, no. Let me, let me just keep my face and everything looking fresh, being positive. And the thing I have to say now, who I, who I, who I, who I spoke on? I spoke on D-Rain being, um, um, talking positive about Latrice. Thumbs up to her. I spoke on your girl, Rosalind. You know, sometimes she... Let me, let me see. Let me see. That, uh, <laughs> let me see what I have to say. When it comes to Rosalind, y'all, hold on. She's a difficult one. She is. I, I think her heart mean well, but I think these people... Um, <laughs> I think I truly do. Before, I'm telling y'all... Y'all love subscribers. <laughs> Something else. As I, be, I remember in the beginning, Rosalind did come off as being kind of nice when it came to treats. And I think y'all done changed that lady. Y'all done built that lady head up so bad. Y'all got that lady just uh, dog on the tree side. Y'all need to stop that. Y'all wrong for that. Y'all wrong. But anyway... I just think that um, her fans pretty much, pretty much have a part in what she's doing. I truly do. I truly do, and that's just my opinion, you know. But you know, my fans and um, my supporters, they want me in love when I stay positive, and that's what I love. I don't. I'm glad I got a. Um, subscribers who want me to stay how I am and that's a good thing I see so much that it's, it's just so easy to be positive guys it's just like so so easy to be positive and I just love it because I be looking at them other channels when they be doing all they doing the most and doing all that fussing and fighting and cussing and and I just be looking like dang I'm glad that's not me Ooh, I'm glad I ain't into it like that, you know, so, you know, that's why I'm just thankful about my page, you know, I'm, I'm just thankful where I'm at, so, I'm trying to see who I, who I didn't speak on, who I did not speak on, I, I don't have too much to say about Coco, Coco is who he is, and I, 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 I never had nothing bad, too bad to say about him, everybody and their mama know that no man, you know, should, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like, I don't want to talk about him and um, Tree's relationship because I wasn't there. So that's why I can't say too much about him. But when it comes to looking at his channel, he's funny. To me, I think he's funny. He's hilarious to me. My opinion, guys, I think he's funny. Um, I think that he wanted to start off positive but something happened um i don't know if trees pissed him off and then he just got on that train and they both was going back and forth whatever the case may be so i don't know if he wanted to start off um negative but i think you know him and his um latrice probably kept going back and forth and um he said she started with the negativity whatever the case may be but I see that he say he wanted to change. So if he want to change, let the man change. Never know. Never know. They might get back together. Who knows? Never know. They might end up being a couple again in a couple of years, y'all. Who know? Who know? I'm just saying, things things work in a mysterious way, y'all. We all know. You can't get mad if they stay um, broken up. You can't get mad if they get back together. Who knows? Who knows? Coco and Trees. Mm. But I'm just putting that out there. You know, I don't know. Things do happen like that. You just never know. When people are away from each other and then they end up getting back together. Who knows? I'm just putting it out there, y'all. I'm just saying. But with that being said, everybody, stay on the positive route, route as you can. The reason I say that because God never sleep. God never sleep. Everything come out our mouth. He's looking. Everything we do, he's looking. 
He looks at our hearts. We can have the cleanest mouth, but if our hearts is like envious and jealous somebody, he knows it already. So don't be phony. Don't be phony. God never sleeps. God sees. He pierced the heart. He pierced the heart. He know. He know what your mind thinking. He know what your that what's in your heart that you want to say that you did not say. He knows it already. He knows everybody. So with that being said, everybody, I cannot think. Of, oh, that's who I want to talk about. That I knew it. I knew it was somebody I want to talk about. Like I was telling you guys about um, everything shy. Yeah, everything shy. I rocks with her. I'm telling you guys, when I don't know, but when my money build up, I'm rocking with her. I'm rocking with her. And she don't even know that I probably rock where I comment on her page, um, her positive stuff that she do and her um, educational stuff and her wisdom and her knowledge about life. You know, I rock with her when it comes to her videos like that. But my money get right, I'm going to do a lot of that stuff, she said, because my credit ain't the best. I ain't for the lie. And when she was saying how you can just go to the bank and all this little positive stuff, how you can just get your line of credit through the bank and get a credit card, trust me, I listen. So, yeah, when it comes to um, her, I listen to her. You know, and I seen her um, subscribers. It had to be about four or five days ago, and she had something like 90 uh, not even 90-something subscribers. I'm like, how come this lady who's speaking the truth, who's willing to help somebody for free, how come she got these little bitty subscribers? And so I looked at her. I started looking at her daily, and I had mentioned her um, on one of my videos. And I'm not saying it's me, so don't get that twisted. I'm just saying because I was looking at the comments, nobody wasn't commenting on her stuff. All that knowledge, even the ones where she had put Latrice's name out there. Nobody, and you can, you can look at it, nobody was subscribing to her. And nobody was commenting. I'm like, it's, it's nobody, do they not know what wisdom, when they hear wisdom knowledge, a person who is gifted and just know a lot about life when it comes to finance and what to put your money towards. And when I heard that sound like, cause I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm put my own hand. I need to read more books when it comes to debts and stuff like that. Not that I'm in debt. Look at my credit. I'm not in no debt. Trust me. But my credit is just not good. It's not the best. It's not bad because I don't have a credit card. So it's not bad, but I'm listening to her and I'm going to get better because I am listening to her. I believe that. I receive it. That's why I said when I turn 50, thanks for the change. She is a person who I need to be listening to. So that's why I said I don't, I, I subscribe to so many different channels. And when I had put her on my live, not my live, but when I mentioned her on my video, them subscribers came quick on YouTube. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I was like, whoa, that's what's up. And I'm seeing everybody commenting on her um, videos. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. So everything shy, keep doing what you're doing. That's the kind of stuff we need. That's the kind of positivity stuff that I'm seeing. So keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody who I mentioned on here. Everybody need to change in some type of way. I have no ill wills towards anybody who I spoke of on this um, video. Everybody need to change. I have some errors that I need to change as well to get myself better. So with that being said, said everybody, I love you guys. I thank you guys so much for the birthday shout out this week. I thank y'all so much. I love you guys. Just continue for those who watch my video, continue to subscribe to my channel. Share my video, like, and most of all, comment. With that being said, everybody, deuces.